perspective on how you can help real estate agents? Because I know you do, do you do drone photography? Do you just aerial? Like what kind of photography do you do? Yeah, so, so everything, so interior. Hey guys, Glenda White here with Verity Mortgage and we're in our hometown here, Midlothian in our neighborhood of Rosebud. And I've got my good friend, Mr. Michael Happel here. He's our hero in the community. So I just wanted to take a minute to spotlight what you do for the community on top of what we can do as real estate agents and real estate industry to help them. So tell me, what do you do for a living both jobs? Yeah, so uh, one of my full-time jobs <laughs> is I'm a firefighter here in Midlothian. I've uh, been here for uh, five and a half or almost six years now. Mm -hmm. And then I've been in the fire service for 10 and a half years. So I did five years in Dallas before. Okay. And then I moved here in 2016. And so. Okay. And then uh, my second full time job is I do uh, like real estate media. Yep. So pretty much anything real estate, architectural, interior design, we take care of. Um, and it's, it's taken on a life of its own. So. It has, so that's what we're gonna kind of spotlight for a minute because I know in the industry we're at right now, yes, um, it's, it's kind of changed from the last year. Um, what's your unique perspective on how you can help real estate agents? Because I know, you do, do you do drone photography? Do you just aerial? Like what kind of photography do you do? Yeah, so, so everything. So interior, exterior, the drone photos, video. Uh, we do the, the 3D tours, like with the Matterport, where we actually scan the house. It creates like a dollhouse. Okay. Uh, recently, we've been doing a lot of uh, vertical video. So everybody's on TikTok and everybody looks at their phone vertical now. <laughs> yes. So I'll actually, instead of the typical way that you would do a like real estate video walkthrough is you have, it's, it's just a, you know, landscape. Right. Well, now everybody, like I said, everybody I love looks, TikTok. Yeah, I love everybody Instagram. looks at TikTok, <laughs> Reels. And so a lot of the agents recently have been wanting vertical video. Okay. And so that's what we've been doing a lot of. Okay. Um, so that's, that's kind of, especially this year, been unique for me. All right. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we, that's 99% of what I do is just all the real estate, you know, video, photos, all that kind of stuff. So let me ask you, how did you get into this business? Do you have a love of photography? Because if everybody sees my page, my kid is a photographer. Um, so she's got that. So how did you get started in it? Uh, so the funny thing is, is uh, it actually all got started at a 30th birthday party. Okay. Uh, we have, uh, there was a couple that we were friends with and uh, Brian, who was the husband, we kind of became friends through my wife teaching with his wife. Okay. And he was, uh, he was he was actually asking my wife, like, hey, do you want to, because my wife was doing portrait photography at the time. Okay. Like, getting into it. And originally, it was going to be Casey doing this. <laughs> oh, nice. My wife. And so, I went with her on, like, like a shadow you know, shoot, and I was like, man, this is kind of cool. Never really was into, like, really photography, except for, like, you know, GoPro stuff. Okay. And, uh... That's how it kind of started. I was shooting maybe one house a week at the time. Oh, wow. And it was just an extra, it was just something to, you know, yeah. pad my pocket. And right. And then I, it just kind of just took on a life of its own. And I know you have a little car that runs right here because I seem to always yeah, follow so that we little actually, car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, one of our guys that works with us, Cody Henson, uh, he's he's usually the one driving around the, uh, okay. the white suit. It's funny because he always, he calls me, he's like, hey, the fire engines are honking at me. <laughs> they think it's me. That's uh, awesome. But yeah, that's usually Cody. And then we also have another guy that works uh, with us. He actually works at the fire department with me, okay. uh, Trevor. And he just started about a month ago. So, Fantastic. Yeah, so we're staying, we're staying pretty busy. So. I love that. So do you offer packages? Is it just a one-stop shop? Like what would agents do to, do they go online and a website and there's a package shop or how do they do yeah, that? Yeah, so you can, so on our website, acesphoto.com, uh, it kind of it breaks down all the services we offer. Uh, so we, I, I don't put a limit on the photos that I take. Okay. Um, early on, I noticed that everybody has different tastes, and I, do. I, I don't want to have to guess who wants what. So pretty much, when we go into a house, we try to get as many angles and uh, photos as we can, so okay. that uh, when you're not in a seller's market, that you can interchange those photos in and out of MLS. And I love that Facebook. Um, and then pretty much we just have it broken down by square feet. So we have pretty much the three main packages, um, you know, 2,500 and below uh, is 120. And then you have 2,500 to 4,000 and then you have 4,000 to 6,000. Okay. And that's pretty much our main 
and then you know you have the aerial photography add-on okay um, do you do the twilight they do all of yeah that. so uh so we do twilights I, that um, seems to be a real big um, you yeah. know especially as a lender i look at it and i'm like oh there's another twilight there's yeah another well, it's that. funny because you, know, you look on zillow and you know realtor and all that kind of stuff and when you're scrolling through those twilight shots or the dusk and all that kind of stuff they they actually they're an attention grabber for sure um and another thing like we do is um i wouldn't say unique but we do virtual staging so okay. uh as homeowners are having to actually get out of their house yes it, it's just kind of weird where we're at right now but they're having to exit these houses so that people can get in them real quick yes but they're vacant when we're taking them and so the realtors you know they want to be able to show like hey you can fit in a sectional one here nice or this wall could fit a 75 inch flat screen and nice. so we can actually uh, virtually stage the homes okay so fantastic so outside of your normal job and your new half job i like to call them two full-time yeah, jobs yeah what's your passion what do you do uh so really do you have time to do anything Let me yeah ask that so question. um competing is my passion i it's so funny if uh i have to be competing at something okay and uh, i used to do crossfit um i was i got competitive in that i had a major back injury which kind of you know i kind of realized was like maybe i shouldn't be doing this you right. know we get older i gotta got provide for my family <laughs> um and so and then you know i got into mountain biking and then i wanted to race doing that figured out really quick that i would not be as competitive as i would want to be right and there's no mountains in texas <laughs> yeah well it's funny as a cross-country mountain biking okay you know, yeah <laughs> okay and then um and then I bugged my wife for a while to let me get a sports car. Um, and she was naive enough to yeah. let me do that. For sure. Yeah, and so I bought a Mustang and I started taking it out to a racetrack. Okay. And then that kind of sparked my whole car racing stuff. Okay. So um, I'm a very amateur uh, time trial, um, time attacker, whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty much a racing against the clock. So All right. Not well. wheel to wheel racing. <laughs> That's that's a bit that's that's, that's a bit out of, of your league right yeah, now. Way out Fantastic. Of league. Yeah. So, where do you see Aces Photography go from here? Uh, what do you see the next year, and then where do you see the next five years? Uh, really, it's everything's tied. Everything's tied to the market. Um, we've been progressively getting bigger and bigger every single year. Good. Um, I, my goal, I would like to be in uh, two different cities. Okay. So, I would like to expand it to where um, I can either send one of my guys or hire someone to where they actually start aces in a, another city so okay. whether that's austin san antonio because uh, we pretty much well you know we cover the dfw area okay um shoot i've i've driven as far as you know mineral wells before oh wow but i would like to my goal uh long-term goal would be able to open up shop somewhere else okay. uh, remotely um that's kind of my that's kind of my end goal so. that's a good goal so yeah. one question is how did we come up with aces name <laughs> uh Honestly, it was, uh, so Brian, the guy that uh, we'd started this with, he's now, uh, he works for an oil company and uh, he wanted out. It was kind of his side side job to, you know, get his wife to stay at home. That's kind of my thing too, is right. I wanted Casey to stay home with the kids. Um, and she wanted that too. Well, originally it was Brian Corey Photography. All right. And so we were like, okay, well, if we're going to do this a partnership, we have to change the name. Yeah. And honestly, it was just us texting back and forth with silly names. Oh, yes. And uh, it, it that, fit. Yeah, it fit. It was just one that there's not really a rhyme or reason. Um, uh, we both liked it. We threw a, a logo together in Photoshop. I love and it. And it was kind of, it's just so funny. Like when people call me, they're like, is this Ace? And so they think my name is Ace. Yes. So I always tell Casey, I've, I've thought about you know, going in and putting my alias as Ace. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, that's fantastic. Well, it is dynamic of what you do, not just for our city serving uh, with our firefighting because we love our firefighters around here. We understand that. Um, but also serving the community in the real estate world. Mm -hmm. And I think the passion for that is what's going to continue your success. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate you coming out here. If anybody wants to get a hold of you, my guess is you're probably on Instagram and yes, TikTok. Right. And yeah. all right. I try uh, TikTok's kind of new. Um, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, okay. our you know, website's acesphoto.com. Okay. And then, uh, you know, we, we don't do any type of automated uh, scheduling. So pretty much you're either going to contact me or Casey. And okay. We, that's our biggest thing is being able to be flexible. I love that. It's agents will call us at the last minute and be like, I need this in the next two hours. And most of the time we can accommodate that. Yeah. You know, 
And so, and you do have a family too that you have to serve. Yeah, and that's yeah, and that's the thing too. And that's um, we I, I under I now understand the real estate market and how crazy it is. Yes. And so uh, to make it as easy as possible for their agent and the homeowner, it, it's, been, it's been advantageous for everybody. So for sure. Yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate you coming out today. Yeah. As well, always, if you guys need anything, get a hold of Aces because they've done my personal home. They're absolutely phenomenal. So Aces Photography, glad you're here. Otherwise, until next time, again, it's Glenda White with Verity Mortgage here in beautiful Rosebud. Have a great day.